favorite street food of all time is Hey guys and welcome to my vegan Thailand street food guide. Just to let you know beforehand, I was just in Thailand for one week, so of course I'm not covering every single street food there is, but I'm just mentioning some things that I ate and tried that are vegan and I recommend it for you. And if you also want to check out my Phuket vlog, then check it out here. So first of all, there is spring rolls. They have fresh spring rolls and deep fried spring rolls. Of course, there are all the meaty versions, but among them, there is also a tofu one or just meat merely vegetable one. Usually they also have an amazing sweet and sour sauce along with it, but always make sure and really ask them if it's vegan. Another doughy thing that is pretty awesome is gyoza. It's basically a dumpling with a very pretty shape and you can have it steamed or fried. It's in different variations. The vegan version is also usually filled with tofu. They also have sticky rice on a stick, which is super plain and just don't expect it to be sweet, but it is vegan. What I think was really crazy there is that they have some kind of deep fried balls of sweet potatoes in so many variations. It's crazy because it was so diverse and they have all kinds of different colors while in Europe we only know french fries basically. Talking about the sweet things, my absolute favorite, I would say my favorite street food of all time is mango sticky rice. Gosh, I love that thing because the rice is so sticky and it holds together with the coconut milk and everything. Then you have the super ripe and fresh mango on top and you sprinkle even more coconut milk and sesame on top. Oh my gosh. Especially because in Thailand you can get it for so cheap and it always looks beautiful because they know how to do it. The next thing I saw a lot is called Kanom Duang. Duang, 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 Lipa. It's kind of like a mini cake and it's made out of rice flour and tapioca as far as I know. The consistency is really bouncy, it's not really that firm and inside you usually have coconut sugar. Sprinkled on top with some coconut flakes. It's not the thing I like the most but it's just for like 10 European cents so why not try it. Next off there is Kanom Buengang. <laughs> Bueng. Bueng? Buengang. Wang, wang. Fuck, I don't know. It's crispy mini pancakes. I've seen them all the time and they always have some kind of coconut cream topped on it and some other variations of toppings that you can usually choose. Just watch out for the yellow one, vegans, because this is egg yolk and you don't want that one to be in your pancake. The thicker version of this thing is called Kanom Dok Don. And I like this one way more because it's so thick and doughy and I love pretty much everything that has a lot of dough. This is really as thick as a legitimate American pancake. It just has like cool shape because of those kind of round textures on there. But the fillings are similar after all. So this is the street food that I got to explore, but of course Thailand has a lot more to offer, so just keep your eyes open. I also saw Chandel on a lot of night markets, but to me that's rather Malaysian than anything else. They have lots of jelly stuff that is usually vegan because they don't really use gelatin or something. You can find a lot of fried fruits like fried banana. And what I think was really awesome to see at a street market was fresh watermelon juice where you could adjust how sweet you want it to be. So of course, depending on where you go to in Thailand, you will have different foods and different options. So just let me know in the comments maybe what your experience are as well and what's your favorite food out of them all. I hope that video was interesting for you and I hope to see you in the next one as well. At the moment I'm uploading every Wednesday and Saturday so I hope to see you around. Check out my social media channels as well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!